sunshines welcome back to my channel so today we're doing another silk press but this time we're doing a silk press on a client that has been freshly colored um excuse my voice before we, we even get started i'm a little congested i'm a little sick but you know what i said i had to do it i had to do this video i had to edit it because it's six months left in a year and you know what that means it means all gas no break <laughs> all gas no breaks let's go all right so First things first is, of course, we have to get my girl uh, freshly shampooed, deep conditioned. I'm sorry, steamed, deep conditioned. And then also I had to section her hair into plaits and put her underneath the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes in order to dry up a lot of that water or at least maybe 25% of water. So we wouldn't uh, use so much direct heat from the blow dryer that flat on, on our hair. She wears her hair naturally curly 90% of the time. So you know what that means? We're protecting the curls at all costs. So we're using a whole lot. We're, we're trying to reduce the amount of direct heat we're using her hair in order to protect her curls and also um, just protect the damage, making sure her hair stays hydrated. She's, she just got her hair colored. And this is actually her third time getting her hair colored. The first time we colored her hair, it was um, the first time we had ever colored her hair and she had colored it in, in years. And we got her to a beautiful auburn color. It was about a level four. It was gorgeous. And then the next time she colored it, she came in about two months later to get it lightened. And she wanted to get it initially this light um, ginger color that you see here. And the color totally didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. It was a new color brand I was using, I was trying. And it just didn't give what it was supposed to give. The color kept bleeding out, it kept washing out. So I had to, you know, we had to, I basically just had to like do IOU, like, girl, I'm so sorry. The color, was, it just didn't turn out the way they were supposed to. And there's no way I'm going to char charge my clients for something that's basically my mistake. Um, so I had her come in the following week, which was this day and we did the color that was supposed to be done because I'm a woman of my word <laughs> and um, this color turned out absolutely beautiful and we were both really pleased when we were really excited with it and we decided to hey let's proceed let's do a silk press because new color new look let's let's do something fun let's let's soak it out so here I am you see me I'm just blow jarring out making sure it gets nice and um, smooth and silky um, so believe it or not, this is the most impor important part of a silk press is making sure you get your hair nice and blow dried and smooth and straight as possible. That way when you do um, straighten your hair, you silk press it, 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 it'll only take one pass to go through. So I'm making sure that the hair is nice and dried and there's no wet patches, no wet spots. And overall the hair is going to be nice and smooth and silky. And as you can see, I'm just going in and smoothing it out. And you can kind of see a little bit of the products that I'm using on her hair um i use so typically when i'm doing a silk press i'm always using kenra or or i'll use color wild or i'll use a combination of all those things i'm also going to have a um like in the description below i'm going to have all the products that i use um in order to to do to give the perfect silk press but yeah uh, my favorite product to use is kenra because it's just overall across the board it's just my clients all my clients with different textures love it it doesn't matter if your hair is like thick or thin if you have like your hair gets oily or if it gets dry it's just it gives you that nice like um like very like weightless silk press smooth and silky it looks really shiny and healthy but it doesn't it doesn't weigh the hair down it's not oily or anything like that so I'm just, you know, that's my favorite product to use. And I'm also going to put down um, in the in the description below, I'm going to put down a few alternative products that you can use um, just because every, everyone's price point is different. And it may be your first time trying to silk press out and you don't know, you may, you're, not, you're probably not sure like how, you know, you're going to even do the first time. So you don't want to invest that money into buying like these expensive products and it doesn't work out. So I'm also going to list below like just cheaper alternative products that you can use. And also my flat iron, my blow dry um, that, you know, you can use. And as you can see, I'm just going through making sure that everything's dry and everything's smooth. Just one, one more time for good luck. So when I was blow drying her hair, you can see like the steam coming out. That's actually a good thing. The steam coming out is um, the heat protectant. So her hair is still smooth. It's not burnt. It's not, you know, burning or anything like that. It's just the, um, the steam is from the heat protectant that's on her hair. And I've used about 
uh i use about like two two to three different um heat protectants one from the blow dry one for the blow drying process another one for the um the uh the flat ironing process and then the other one just to kind of like finish it off and stuff but yeah as you can see one pass just, i'm like the one pass queen we just doing like just one pass you know that's it so when we initially get it straight uh, straighten i'm going to do one pass and then after i do the one pass and i straighten her whole head i'm probably gonna take another pass um in, in bigger sections to style it I'm just taking one pass and I'm just silking it out and the more we um, the more we get done with flattering it the more geek we are getting we are so excited the color is so bomb and we're just like just loving all the dimensions of you know this ginger color it's giving us very much summer and we're just we're really excited we're really happy about it this is one of my longtime clients I actually um, gave her her big chop I cut off all her hair because she told me to and um you know I, I helped her grow it out so this grow out with along with we did two major haircuts this took her about four years and mind you uh, we did two major haircuts so the first haircut we cut it um, we cut about maybe four inches off we gave her bangs we cut a lot a lot um a lot of hair off and then the next haircut we did again we did the same thing you know we kind of always lean towards a bang look in the summertime like that that the heavy bang mushroom look i'd say mushroom but you know it's kind of pretty much what it is right now it's very much a style and it's, it's super cute we were into it so it's it seems to happen every summer we said we're gonna grow out our hair and we always end up cutting it because she wants to get the bang she wants to be very you know on trend you know with the look which i'm here for it all the way because if there's one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna grow your hair out if you want me to so i'm just going in and i'm noticing as i'm flattering her hair i'm like oh yes girl you're gonna need a, just a teeny tiny trim and then she's like you know i'm kind of feeling a little bit you know a little spicy i want to get some bangs so <laughs> lo and behold this is like cut number three she wants to get her hair trimmed just a little bit um so we're gonna give her some bangs because she wants to be able to wear them when her hair is naturally curly and also when her hair is straight so the bangs are just gonna give her hair some personality some movement and i don't know if you guys have noticed but we're kind of in this trend right now or not trend but it's kind of going on right now with the haircuts is people are getting like a lot of long layers they want a lot of body a lot of a lot of movement it used to be um maybe like a I don't know maybe last year a couple of years ago people were like they really didn't want hardly any layers they want their hair to be all one length all long um no body no movement nice and straight and flat and now they're like yeah I want somebody I want some movement I want some layers so um this color is really giving me Julia Roberts type you know redhead and I'm living for it um she was trying to convince me to 
just trying to convince me to bleach your eyebrows but i said no ma'am because i do not if there's one thing i do not do i do not mess with people's face because i i can't i cannot i would i would love to i would love to do it but you know just a little a little scared about that So as you can see with me, whenever I'm trimming hair, I'm always, always, always trimming hair section by section, layer by layer. And the reason being is because if you try to take it and you just try to like, just do a one length haircut, you're not gonna get off all the ends for one. Or if you do get off all the dead ends, the bad ends, you're gonna take off way more than what needs to be taken off. So um, when you trim hair section by section, you're actually, um, you know, you're actually making sure that you're being very detailed with your cut and you're, um, you're trimming off the dead ends, the stuff that needs to be, be trimmed off. You're not overdoing it. I know sometimes we see uh, different things online and, you know, when people are getting a trim or a hair or a haircut or a trim, it looks more of a haircut. And when my client came in, she wanted a trim. So we're giving her exactly that a trim. So as you can see, I'm trimming her hair, but I'm, I'm not, um, I'm also not just trimming it straight across either. I'm taking it and I'm point, point cutting it. And point cutting helps reduce the bulkiness so it's not so bulky because she wears her hair curly 90% of the time. Again, this is gonna work well with whether she's wearing her hair straight or she's wearing it curly. So we're just going in, I'm point cutting it. And you know, this is just what I do. This is like a little magic of what happens. And do you see how um, much of this trim is making a difference with her overall appearance of her silk press? 
it looks absolutely beautiful and we're not taking off a lot of hair whatsoever this client also she gets her hair trimmed about every uh, about every eight weeks she gets her hair trimmed so it really wasn't much to trim off but she needed a trim just to keep up with maintenance and uh stay on schedule so um we're just going in and you know just doing a little trim like seriously a little trim and then this is where she tells me like hey i want bangs so you know like you know how i'm asking her how long she wants her bangs and also keeping in mind when she wears her hair curly it's going to shrink up about 50 percent so i'm putting it a whole lot longer when it's straight because when it's curly it needs to fall a certain way and i don't want her to be i don't want her her um her bangs to be way above her eyebrows you know so i'm not cutting it too much um so about the length of cutting her bangs is around like her what is it it's around her jawline yeah it's around, it's around her jawline is the shortest the shortest length of the uh, the bangs because we know we know her hair is going to shrink about 50 percent so this is going to help her you know where the the haircut is going to look good whether she's wearing it curly or she's wearing it straight and then now that i've trimmed her bangs i'm going ahead, i'm going to go ahead and just make everything make sense connect the bangs to frame her face so everything's like nice and even and it's just not you know it's just not like the, the bangs and then the haircut so i'm just making everything make sense and, and just you know become one now that we're just about finished i'm just going in and checking my haircut making sure that everything is blended nice and even and then once we finish this i'm gonna go ahead and ask my client how she wants her, her hair styled and of course she wanted it smooth and silky because we always curl it whenever we straighten our hair we always do like a little curl a little razzle dazzle so today she wants to keep it simple she wants to keep it nice and sleek and straight so i'm making sure that you know she gets exactly what she wants and she was so happy she was so excited about her new style her new look we were both happy we i loved it i love doing gingers um i like doing silk presses after the client gets their hair you know straight or when, really whenever but i just like doing like these transformations on my clients because they make they come in looking like one totally different person and they leave looking like another totally different person so i think it's just so much fun it's um I just love the aesthetics of just, you know, just doing transformations on clients. So if you guys like what y'all saw, please like and comment, subscribe, and let me know what, what you all want to see next. If y'all want to see me, see me do a color, let me let me know. I've always done colors, and I always forget to you know to record when I'm doing the hair colors. But if y'all want to see me do the hair colors, let me know. I promise, I promise eventually I'm going to do better and have better angles so y'all can see the front and the sides, and y'all can see everything that I'm doing. But thank you so much for watching my video, and once again. Um, um, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my videos and <laughs> go to my uh, page and, you know, look at more of my videos. Add me on Instagram because I'm more active on there. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye, sunshines.